Hey everybody, Chris here again. Welcome back to the channel. Always good to have you with us. So today we're gonna do just a little retro short where I show you the HP Compaq T5300 Thin Client. In my last awesome video, we talked about an HP Compaq T5700 client. And that was a nice little machine at a very good price. But I got to thinking, that machine was $28. Can we go cheaper? Well, the answer is yes, but with some trade-offs. Let's have a look. So here they are, the Thin Client Twins. Or are they? Comparing the two Thin Clients, we have the 5700 on the left and the 5300 on the right. And you can see that the 5300 does not have a parallel or serial port, but both machines do have a network port, four USB ports, and a headphone and microphone, power input, and video port. Looking at the manufacturer sticker for the 5700, we can see it has a one gigahertz processor, 256 megabytes of storage, 256 megabytes of memory, and came loaded with XP embedded. And also the manufacturer date was February 2004. Looking at the 5300, we can see it has a 533 megahertz processor, 32 megabytes of storage, 64 megabytes of memory, and has an embedded operating system. And its manufacturing date is actually later in April of 2004. Looking at the T5700, you can see it has a PCI expansion slot, which we will be looking at in a future video, as well as a memory expansion slot, which is quite nice. And over here, by the way, is where the DOM module is installed, and it happens to be that I have a one gigabyte upgrade in this machine, but as we noticed on the sticker, it comes standard with a 256 megabyte DOM card. Looking at the T5300, you will notice there is no PCI expansion, though I would imagine one could probably be soldered in. And similarly, there is no memory expansion, and the DOM card is over here, and once again, it is 32 megabytes. So similar to last time, we can demonstrate the same system capabilities for Windows 3.11. If we go to Help About, we can see we have 54 megabytes of free memory and about 85% free system resources. We can also run Chips Challenge and have that same lovely PC speaker MIDI and sound effects as well. Sounds pretty good. We can also go to File Manager and you can see I have my Raspberry Pi mapped to drive Z to make file sharing a breeze. And you can also see that we have that nice 1024 by 768 resolution. And for DOS gaming, I thought we'd show Lemmings this time. Who doesn't love Lemmings? And you can see that we have nice sound and good video quality for what it is. Once again, it is Lemmings, so that's what you get. And here we have the BIOS information page. We can see this has a Transmeta Caruso 5600 CPU running at 533 megahertz. Once again, with that 32 megabyte of flash memory and 56 megabytes of memory, since I believe some of the memory is taken up as video memory. Well, that's pretty much what I have for you today. I appreciate you taking a look. If you want to replicate this experiment, I'm gonna put a link below to the instructions for the 5700. I've modified them a little bit to slim things down since we have only 32 megabytes of storage on this machine, whereas on the other machine, we had more. Definitely subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Can't wait to see you until next time. Bye-bye.